Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going to look through this half an hour long gameplay reveal for My Hero Academia Ultra Rumble, which is the upcoming My Hero Battle Royale game, which is going to be free to play, 24 players a lobby, it looks awesome, and in this video we're specifically going to look at all of the Deku gameplay that we get to see in this. So first off we see Deku in this like loading screen where he's teamed up with Bakugo and All Might. And it's actually interesting to look at the top of the screen, we get to see that there's customization, a shop, and gacha, which is what we kind of expected, since it's a free-to-play game, there's gonna be a lot of, you know, in-game purchases, which hopefully are just for customization and not for in-game, uh, <laughs> help, like pay-to-win stuff, and there's a gacha machine which may also just be customization, I hope like changing the color of your character and their attacks or something. Hopefully it's not like, mm, buy to start with potions. And then this is like the starting lobby. We see Deku's just chilling around in the park with his three friends. They're just showing off random stuff, like how Midoriya can put his hand up to talk to his teammates, I guess, like, yo! Don't leave me hanging, but of course they do. You can't trust All Might with these things. And finally, after <laughs> Deku's been left hanging for ages, now there's like tons of people in the lobby and I think they're about ready to start the game. And yeah, in the dropping sequence you get to see your teammates, luckily, and you get to like choose where you fall down. And unlike most battle royales, you don't actually get to fall from the sky, you just get teleported in somehow. It'd be cool if they made some sort of, like, at least animation. They don't have to, like, let you fall down and parachute and stuff, but just put some animation, or maybe, like, the characters jumping into the map or doing something. It would just be cool. Because as it stands, I'm pretty sure, hey, look, we'll see in one second, but I'm pretty sure it just launches you in. Oh my god, there's so many derby players. What is this? One's just as two. Oh yeah, it kind of zooms on you. No, that's fine. So, in the game with Midoriya, the the devs or whatever, I guess, are just like explaining the game, talking over it underneath, being like, oh yes, this is a game. You At the beginning of the game, you walk around, you find some items, and you open stuff. So you see Deku here, he grabs a backpack, gets some... I don't even know what he got from that health, when he's already at full health. Now we're up on the roof. Hopefully, oh, we've collected a single potion there to get some shield back. I don't know why Deku hasn't drank the potion yet, but whatever. We get to see a little bit of how you can climb on walls here. He doesn't really climb it that much, but you can climb up walls. We see it later on. You can just full on just scale the walls like you're Spider-Man. It's pretty awesome. We get to see some of his physical punches. So he just does four punches in a row, and that's all of his melee string. Um, only for when you're up close. Looks pretty cool. I'm actually impressed that they gave the characters new animations to their My Hero Once Justice um, attacks. Because, like, all of their models and running models are the same. Actually, maybe some of these animations are the same. Some of those punches looked familiar. <laughs> now they're just explaining the Alpha, Beta, Gamma abilities. Are you gonna open a chest or something? Nope. Okay, here's where the gameplay gets kind of interesting. So there are enemies around, but Deku just- Oh, oh! Actually, I didn't even realize he gets- We get to see his use his black whip. It's just a grappling hook, I guess. But even when there's other enemies around, this gameplay demo is clearly against some, like, whack bots or something, because, like, nothing happens. Like, this Suyu is against him, but he's just chilling, walking around. Nothing happens. <laughs> okay, now we're on a rock. And we're still just walking around. We have, for some reason, Deku has a 2 card, which is completely useless. Like, you can pick up tiles or, like, upgrade things for your own team, so you can, you know, teamwork and stuff, but why would you have that? That's just filling up your inventory for no reason. Come on, Deku, I know this is the early access, but get good at the game, bro. Ooh, ooh, is that an upgrade card for yourself? Yay! So, as you can see, oh, did it double upgrade? Wow. So now his gamma ability is level 3, so that just means it's going to do a bit more damage, it's going to be a bit bigger, maybe a bit faster, I'm not sure. So they explain it a bit here, like in the alpha ability, it just makes the projectiles bigger, and maybe a bit more, and does a bit more damage. Yeah, size up, and damage up. So every few levels, the projectile will get bigger, and with each level, it'll do more damage. So it's really handy if your teammates were picking those up for you, so that <laughs> you can super, like, upgrade your projectiles and become OP. 
or else you just have to find them all yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here we get to see Deku kind of showing off how you can waypoint, be like, oh no, there are enemies nearby. Gotskete, Deku ga iru. He just does it a few times for no reason. Kyotsukete! There's no one there. Deku, you're not a good teammate. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize Bakugo's dead over here. Who was that? Tsuyu! Tsuyu just, <laughs> just took out Bakugo and ran away. Hit and run. Oh, there she is back. But yeah, just like most battle royales, when you get killed, you just knock down for a bit until your teammates come and heal you, and if they don't heal you, you just uh, die. Bakugo died again! Come on! Bad teammates, I tell you. <laughs> okay, but I know this isn't Deku gameplay, but why is the recovery animation so awkward? Everyone does this, they get in the same pose, it's like they use the same, like, modeling animation for each character. They just stand there and kind of just, like, squat and put their hands out like they're Jesus, like, using their magic fingers to heal you. And then Bakugo's like, oh, okay, I'm up. Oh, we see some Deku action, he's actually using his attacks. So... The gameplay, when it gets to the actual fight scenes, looks a little janky, which I know we can forgive because it's his, like early access, it hasn't even had a beta yet, but it looks kind of janky. The, the maps and everything and the character things and a lot of the attacks look really good, but when they hit the opponent it looks so weird. So, Suyu has this block animation because she has this blue bar here. Whenever you have the blue bar, it kind of just acts like a shield in like Fortnite. I think, where you just don't get hurt, but in this game it looks like you're blocking, but it's just because you have that blue bar, it just depletes the blue bar and makes it look like you block, even though there's not an actual block button. But you can see it's doing damage to her guard, so he just does a bunch of punches and you can see uh, 63 damage on that last hit. Oh, and then 56, maybe a double hit. He tried to do that flying kick, but completely missed. <laughs> okay. Zero potions. How does you have nothing in your inventory, Deku? What have you been doing? Just walking around, not picking anything up? Just walking around, hanging out with All Might. All Might Senpai, notice me. Oh look, All Might finally gave you something. Now you can have something. <laughs> but now, <laughs> pick it up, damn it! Don't just stand there and the- oh. Look what you did, Midoriya. You killed Bakugo, because he was like, oh god, I'll pick this up if you're gonna, not gonna grab it. Now, All Might has to come and save Bakugo because you're not- wow, Deku, you're really- you're really not helping out the team here. Oh goodness, now the whole team is knocked out, Bakugo has like 2% life, has to save you all now. Oh! Oh, come on Bakugo, come on Bakugo, I know you don't like teamwork. Hey! Then come save our boy Deku. He's a bit useless, but he's got the spirit. What? So Bakugo comes back to life when he's counted disappears? I thought he would just die, but now he's alive again? Or is that because he has those, oh yeah, he has those like extra lives in his, in his hot bar or something? I don't know, that's kind of weird. I expected the whole, well first of all, in most games when the entire team is knocked out, you just, the whole team dies instantly because no one's going to revive you. But also when the timer disappears, usually you don't get revived. Like, is All Might going to get revived here? Yeah, All Might got revived, and even if Bakugo wasn't there, I'm pretty sure he would have been revived. That's really weird. Deku only died because he got stuck in the the poison wall area. Oh my god, this gameplay is ridiculous. <laughs> no! Oh yeah, that's it. Long story short, Bakugo and All Might survived a lot longer than Deku did. But they still lost. Because <laughs> Mount Lady is taking up the entire damn circle. <laughs> Okay, and he gets like a score, he did well, mm, questionable, <laughs> but sure, he did well, Deku. Are they really gonna fall in the same spot as last time? Switch it up, y'all. I wonder if you can land, like if, if I try to land over here, do I land on the roof of these buildings, or does it just put me, like, in them? Also, do these buildings have insides? They didn't really show us too much of the map, which is probably strategic, maybe they haven't finished the design for all of it, but it's amazing how huge this area is. It's cool they're actually using, like, legitimate My Hero stuff, and the training grounds is perfect, having this massive 
indoor arena. It's awesome. Okay, Deku, you can do this better this time. Oh, wait. So he picked up a an All Might, like, upgrade card, but for some reason it upgraded his? Maybe it's just if you grab an Alpha card, it upgrades your Alpha ability, but just does it more so if you have the actual correct character card? Because that wasn't a Deku card, it was a All Might card, but it upgraded his thing. But maybe you get double the upgrade if it's the right thing. Oh yeah, look! Oh my god, I'm so smart! <laughs> See, look, he gets one level up. Okay, yeah, he goes from one to two when he grabs All Mights. But when he grabs Deku Alpha card, he goes up by two levels. So when it does match your character, you get double the upgrade-ness. Cool. So that makes sense why, in the other footage, Deku was picking up other random characters like Tsuyu's, because it'll still upgrade you a little bit, but just not as much as your own tiles. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Ooh, Deku climbing some walls, okay. Parkour. Mount Lady, take her out, or just walk away. That's also an option. Did he hit anyone there? Yeah, yeah, surely you hit Mentos once. Ooh! Someone was hit there, someone was hit. Don't know if it was Deku, but it looked kind of cool. He was zoomed in using his alpha ability, and it's level 4, so they're pretty big and powerful. <laughs> okay, and Hyoteku is just walking around, getting slapped by Mount Lady as she walks in. <laughs> oh, oh, Wow, Deku's got some aim suddenly! Yeah, flick, flick! Hell yeah! Good job, Deku. You leveled up your ability and you used it. And the melee? Okay, okay, you're using your full range of stuff. That's pretty uncommon for... <laughs> ...gameplay showcases. <laughs> Oof. Bakugo, what? <laughs> now Deku's like, hmm, what potions do I want or not want? What's upgrading me or wasting? Oh, okay, so we can use those rainbow cards to specifically upgrade things. What? What did those do? He, so he puts these Darby cards in, in his ability slots? Is that, like, just making his stuff more powerful? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, climb that building. <laughs> I don't think he meant to do that. Come on, you can hit Darby once. Or you can accidentally throw a waypoint. Come on, hit Toga, hit Toga. Oh, oh my god, he actually hit her twice, three times. Whoa, it's Deku the sharpshooter with his flicks. That's actually really cool. The flicks, instead of just becoming like air things, they become the charged version of his projectiles in One's Justice 2. Because he's like upgraded to like level 5 or beyond, because he's on level 6 now. That's pretty cool. Nice detail. Oh, so you can hit Darby through that firewall. It doesn't destroy projectiles, it seems. Oh, hit him. Oh god. Come on, Deku. Come on, beat him up together. He can't block you both. Just sharpshooting at the water park now? Okay. Drink some shield potions, Deku, come on. Look, All Might's doing it. Hey, hey, oh, oh. Hey, he did it, look. And now he's got a bit of this shield meter built up at the bottom. And now if he gets hit, he's not gonna die from it. Also, isn't this awesome that you can actually destroy the arena? In some of the Bakugo gameplay, we see he like burns trees with his explosion, and that building just broke down, that is so cool. And he won! Woo! It was mainly Bakugo and All Might again, but Deku was there. And he helped a little bit, maybe. The final match, are they gonna land somewhere different this time? Oh, a little bit different. They're landing in some brown rubble instead of grey rubble. Yep, stick near Bakugo, Deku. He'll protect you. Oh, oh, Deku sneaking up on Mount Lady. Oh, oh, oh. The four hit combo. She's knocked on the ground. Then flick. You should have used some of your abilities, like your beta kick or something. That was still pretty good. Good, good sneak up from behind, Deku. You're doing something. Oh, now you run. Now you run. <laughs> Or, or you sniper, nice, nice. Where the... Okay, Mount Lady looks ridiculous, but I kind of love it. It's the perfect... 
<laughs> it's perfect for games like this, just having a glitchy, humongous character. It's amazing. And look, oh yeah, climbing the walls. Like Spider-Man, I love being able to move around terrain easily, so... That's a big plus. I wonder what happened to Mount Lady, she went up there and didn't come back down. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he just said. Wait, what? Did we just cut to Deku being dead? <laughs> he died off screen? You can't have the main character die off screen. What What happened? I thought this was... I thought this was uncut gameplay. I thought they just cut in between the characters, but they totally cut out. Deku just completely got mauled by someone. <laughs> Deku, what? You didn't do anything in this video. You, like, attacked Mount Lady once from behind. Uh, ooh. And you threw a few projectiles. And you climbed a wall, so that was pretty cool, but oh my god, why is this circle is so small? You can't even fit inside the circle anymore, it's just like, who has the most life and can survive the longest? Drink a potion all night. Oh my god. What is this gameplay? I actually can't wait for this game, it looks ridiculous. Hey, they won again. Good job, Deku. You died off screen, but you did some stuff in this match. Is that the end of the gameplay? They're just chilling? Okay, well, that's Deku. I hope you enjoyed, everyone. I'm gonna move on to Bakugo or All Might next. Hopefully they do a little bit more interesting. I know Bakugo does some cool stuff and he destroys some trees for no reason, but he actually uses his abilities kind of usefully. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you there in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.